and the topic of my speech today is the importance of financial education in high schools. And then I have my audience here with me, and then the person who's filming. So let's go ahead and start. So let me start by asking some questions to the people that are listening to this video. How many of you know how to create a budget? Or how many of you know your credit score? There was a study that was done that showed that only 56% of Americans reported that they knew what a budget was and they knew how to create one. And only 56% of people said that they knew what their credit score was. So that is basically what uh, financial literacy or financial education is. The basic principles of managing your finances. Things like how to open a bank account, what is savings, um, the difference between savings and investing, also how to balance a checkbook, or even how to write a check. These basic financial skills um, are things that most people don't know. So how young can you start? Well, you can start teaching your kids as young as four or five years old. When you first give them their allowance, you can explain the importance of saving half of their allowance and only spending half. Basic skills like that, you can start young. Uh, but specifically for high school students, it's important that we start educating them when they first enter high school. Because one in every four high school students already have a job. Well, that means that three million um, students nationwide are already working. That means that they already have a paycheck. So they already have the need to know these skills. They already should understand how to open a bank account. They should already know what are taxes and how we pay taxes. These skills um, that most of us use on a regular basis. If we don't start when they're in high school, uh, what happens is that all these kids graduate, they turn 18, they move away from home, and they don't have these skills to be able to manage their money effectively. The same study showed that 84% of college students, which is a large majority of them, reported that their bank accounts were overdrawn. And only 59% said that they paid their bills sometimes, on time. So what this shows is that this group of 18 to 21 year olds are out there in the real world and don't have the financial skills to be able to manage their money and manage their money effectively. So what ends up happening is that you have these um, college students that get into credit card debt or student loan debt and they graduate and they don't have the ability to pay it and they end up defaulting on their, on their loan. So why should we focus on teaching this in schools, specifically in high schools? Well, in this same research, 34% of the parents said that they taught, only 34% said that they taught their kids how to balance a checkbook. And less than that, explain to them what credit card um, interest is. So if you go back and you remember the first slide where we showed you know that only 56% of Americans knew what their credit score was and only 56% knew how to create a budget, it shows that a lot of adults don't have those skills themselves. And if they don't have those skills, they can't teach it to their kids. So that's why we should include it in all high school curriculums. Just like you make them take a an English class or a science class, you would um, make this a mandatory thing so that all the kids in high school would have to take this class, learn these skills, and be able to graduate in order um, for them to have all these um, skills that will make them a more financially stable adult. What could happen is that if we start teaching kids as young as 14 when they become freshmen in high school and they get all this education throughout the four years, when they graduate and they go out and get their first loan and they go out and get their first credit card, they'll know how to manage that money. They'll understand how interest in the credit card works and they'll be more less likely to get into debt. This could potentially reduce the amount of adults that are financially unstable. It could reduce the amount of adults that file for bankruptcy or that have large amounts of credit card debt, adults that always pay their bills late, people that overdraw their accounts, um, even people that default on their mortgages because they don't 
they don't have these skills. So that's why it's important to be able to teach this to all high school students across the nation. So thank you for listening to my speech. And if you were one of those people that did not know their credit score, this is some additional information and websites you guys can go to to learn your own credit score. So thank you for listening and give me some feedback. Thanks.